Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is an Instagram command and control side channel. Researchers at ESA recently posted a blog post about the latest malware campaign from a Russian nation state group called Turla. Now, the blog post talks overall about a recent malware campaign, a sophisticated malware campaign that starts as a watering hole attack with some malicious JavaScript designed to look like legitimate JavaScript that installs a Firefox extension that really is a basic backdoor. But what's most interesting about this is kind of the unique way that this particular backdoor uses to find its commanding control server, or the server it should call home to. Basically, rather than connecting to a specific hard-coded IP or domain, or even using tricks like domain generation algorithms, instead, this particular piece of malware connects to a Instagram photo. It's actually a Britney Spears Instagram post with a photo of her, and it searches the comment section. In a nutshell, it's looking for a comment that matches a particular hash, and frankly, the comment looks semi-legitimate. It looks like English. But the malware has a specific regular expression that can break down some hidden characters in that particular comment to come up with a shortened bitly link. And of course, that bitly link really points to the command and control website itself. In short, this is an interesting side channel for your command and control mechanism, a way of hiding something in plain sight, like in an Instagram comment. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen black hats use techniques like this. For instance, Twitter posts have been used for command and control channels and other social network posts too. Nonetheless, it's still an interesting technique, and if you're interested in some of the technical details, you should check out ESET's blog post. Now, in my opinion, the good news is still that these bad guys are kind of relying on security by obscurity to protect their command and control mechanism. Once you know the malware is using this technique, it's not hard to actually find it. And despite the fact that the malware first goes to Instagram to learn of the bitly link, ultimately the malicious link for the command and control center is somewhere else. And that's where botnet protection mechanisms can help. There are many security controls out there, including ones we use in our WatchGuard Firebox that are designed to dynamically keep track of all the IP addresses and domain names that we know threat actors use for their command and control uh, channel. Long story short, eventually the URL that this bitly link is pointing to will make it to these sorts of command and control blocking mechanisms. If you want to protect yourself against malware, it's obviously great to have things like antivirus services and things like APT or advanced threat protection that can prevent you from getting malware in the first place, but the truth is you can never block everything. There's always going to be some trick an attacker might use to get into your network. So it's good to also have security controls that can catch command and control communications. While bad guys can use tricky techniques like this Instagram comment to try to make it more difficult to find out where the command and control server really is, malware eventually has to connect to some URL or IP address, and these sorts of command and control blocking services can help defang malware that does infect your network. Anyways, it still is an interesting threat actor technique. You should check out the ESET post for more details about other techniques this particular malware campaign uses. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.